Neurons are the basic units of the nerve system. They are cells which are excitable and are able to conduce and to receive electric impulses. Now we're briefly gonna divide them uh, in unipolar, bipolar, multipolar and pseudo-unipolar according to their shape. Now uh, unipolar cells are uh, neurons as you can see who have a central body which has the function of a dendrite, so who is able to uh, receive impulses from other axons, and one axon which then branches into uh, smaller terminations, which will then get in touch with other uh, neurons on the on the dendrites. Now, as you can see over here in this picture I got from Wikipedia. This is a bipolar neuron, which means it has a central body or soma, which is then connected to the axon from which the impulse goes uh, towards the uh, towards another cell, uh, getting further away from the cell body. And on the other side, on the bottom of the drawing, you can see the dendrite, which uh, receives impulses from uh, the synapsis and then brings it towards the cell body. Now this is the multipolar neuron which is the classical type of, of neuron cell which is usually represented. You can see to the left all the dendrites which then lead to the soma or the central body where the nucleus is represented and then from the central body uh, an axon starts uh, growing and in around that axon are, uh, are Schwann cells which uh, create the myelin sheath around uh, this tubular structure isolating the axon from the external environment uh, making it so that the impulse can travel easily through the axon and at the end of the axon, the axon branches up and then ends with, uh, with different synapses which then take contact with other neurons on the dendrite side or for example with muscle cells in which case you can uh, command for uh, muscle contraction this last type of neuron is the pseudo-unipolar neuron which derives from a bipolar neuron in which the dendrite and the axon ended up by joining together melting up to a certain point but you can still see the different function of the dendrite and the axon. You can see the soma which is the cell body and the terminal buttons which then connect to other cells, mainly neurons, where uh, the synapses are located. Now the myelin sheath surrounds all the axons of neurons and it's very important for the conduction of the electrical impulse. In fact, if it gets destroyed for some reason, you can have very serious uh, diseases like multiple sclerosis. Now the conduction of the impulse is very important and this is possible thanks to sodium potassium pumps present in the plasma membrane in those spaces between the Schwann cells which are called ra nodes of Rambier. So the presence of these nodes allows the impulse to sort of jump from one node to the other giving a much higher speed. 